Westar Distribution would like to show you an example of air suspension. This type of suspension system has been in use since the 1980s in various vehicles. The purpose of air suspension is twofold, maximum passenger comfort and to maintain the proper ride height of the vehicle to ensure safety. We are in Memphis, Tennessee at Steve's Tire and Auto to show you one particular example of air suspension. This frame you are looking at is from a Lincoln Town Car that has been shortened for this demonstration. We will go over the components and the basic operation of this system. The system is made of four basic items. Chris from Steve's Tire and Auto will point them out to you. Air springs. Solenoid valves. Compressor. Dryer. This is a self-leveling suspension. When weight is added to the trunk, the rear of the car will start to sag. Once the sensor attached to the frame detects the sagging, the onboard computer sends a signal to the compressor to turn on and pump air. One or more of the air springs may need more air to compensate for the sagging. The solenoid for that air spring will open and allow air to enter the air spring and level the vehicle. When the weight is removed from the trunk, your vehicle will ride too high. This is sensed and the solenoid on the affected air spring will open and release excess air until the vehicle is level. Your vehicle will do this all automatically. Since we only have the frame here, we have developed an alternative method to demonstrate the operation. Chris will first simulate excess weight being added to the trunk. You'll see that the rear of the vehicle is lowered. It is unsafe to operate the vehicle like this. It should ride level at all times. Now, Chris will add air into the system. We accomplish this by energizing the compressor and pumping air through the dryer. Your car has tubing attached to the compressor and runs to the solenoid valves. The onboard computer opens the appropriate solenoid valve and allows air into the air spring. Now the car is again level and safe to drive. Proper riding position also provides optimum comfort for the passengers. When Chris simulates the removal of the weight from the trunk, you'll see that the car is riding too high. This too is unsafe. The automatic system in your car senses the rear of the vehicle being elevated and releases air from the air spring. It does this by opening the solenoid and releasing air through a valve in the compressor into the atmosphere. Now you can see the car will be riding safe and level. There are other types of systems, including front automatically leveling systems, but the principles are all the same as we demonstrated here today. There are several important things to point out. If you develop a leak in the system, the compressor will continue to run attempting to level the car. This should be fixed immediately to prevent the compressor from being overworked and causing damage to the compressor. Moisture is a bad thing when trapped within the system, so we dry out this moisture by using a dryer. Anytime that system is open to the atmosphere, the dryer needs to be replaced.